Hey everybody, it's Kenji. I'm gonna make some egg salad. Because we're having lunch, and because I boiled all these eggs to, uh, well, because I had eggs in my fridge, and I like egg salad. All right, so um, there are many ways you can make egg salad. This is the way I'm making mine today. Not always the way I make it, but uh, I, this is a sort of very basic right way I like to do it. Um, I like having some celery, some onions. Um, I, I Usually I would, you know, at the very minimum I would have celery and red onion in my egg salad. I kind of like that. Or sometimes celery and scallion, but I always need that celery. Um, that's a lie, I don't always need it. You could do also do a different crunchy, like a, like a radish would be great in egg salad. There are many ways you can make egg salad. All right, so get them in a bowl here. And of, of course, the most important part of the egg salad is the eggs. Um, and you want eggs that are perfectly boiled, not too hard, not too soft. Um, and I like having my eggs very easy to peel. Um, luckily, I know a method for doing that. Um, and I am confident that it is the best, best method known to date, um, as I have done lots and lots of testing on this. Um, I'll link to a video um, showing you the, uh, explaining sort of the testing I've done um, and why I am so confident that this method works. But the short of it, if, if you want the long of it, you can watch that video, but the short of it is you get a pot of water boiling. Um, doesn't have to be too much water, like an inch of water or so. You get a pot boiling at a hard boil. You take your eggs. They can be straight out of the fridge if you want. You drop them uh, gently into that. Well, you lower them gently into that boiling water. They don't have to be covered. They don't have to be submerged as long as there's steam around them. Uh, you cover that pot and you let them cook. Um, I, these eggs I did for nine minutes, which gives you a sort of a yolk that's kind of golden. and It's just starting to turn a little bit yellow around the edges. Um, if you go 10 or 11 minutes, it'll be yellow throughout. If you go six minutes or so, it'll be kind of fudgy, but I don't really like that for my egg salad. For my egg salad, I want my eggs to be um, hard, but not too hard, so just lightly golden. Um, okay, oh, and then when they're done, I took them out, I let them cool down naturally. You can put them in an ice bath if you're in a hurry, but I wasn't in a hurry today, so I just stick them right back into the uh, empty, egg shell, an empty egg carton and just let them sit on the counter for 20 minutes or so while they cool. All right, so I got celery, parsley, Red onion, scallions. You know what else I'll do? I know I got a little bit of got a little bit of dill in here. Let's do some dill in there too, huh? I like dill in my egg salad. I have a friend who's super into dill, and when you tell him there's dill in something, he cries out, dill! Because he's so happy about it. And I told that to my daughter, and she started doing that now too. Even though she's not like a huge dill fan, she is a huge fan of screaming out dill whenever she gets the chance. Okay, dill. The other ingredients, I'm gonna put some mayo. For about eight eggs, that's about, I don't know, three tablespoons of mayo. You can do homemade. I will also link to a video for homemade bit mayo, but today I'm just doing store-bought. Little Dijon mustard. You could also do yellow mustard or whole grain mustard. There's maybe a tablespoon. And some olive oil. When I, um, I used to be a breakfast cook and um, I had to peel, uh, cook and peel a whole lot of um, boiled eggs for breakfast. Um, this was, uh, I worked at a restaurant um, that was near the, um, the Boston, the State House in Boston, and so we didn't do breakfast every day, but oftentimes um, politicians and stuff would rent out the place for breakfast, and my job was to make breakfast for them. Um, and uh, so I, I, I peeled and boiled a lot of eggs in my day, um, and there were always boiled eggs left over. Um, and so on the days when we had those breakfasts, um, family meal, which is the you know the, the staff meal that the uh, kitchen workers make for the whole team, um, I, us I usually made staff meal. Um, because I enjoyed doing it, uh, and on days that there was a breakfast going on, staff meal was pretty much always guaranteed to be egg salad sandwiches because there were always leftover boiled eggs. So you'll notice how easily these eggs are peeling, and that's because I used my special technique, my well-tested, well-documented technique. And of course, as I say that, I, I make a crack in one of these eggs. 
because that's just that's just what happens in these videos. But you see how how quickly and easily these eggs peel. So if I were instead to do what I used to do and what many people have told me to do, which is put the eggs in cold water and let it come up to a boil, and then you know shut off the water or let it keep simmering or whatever whatever method you do is, if you start the eggs cold and bring them up to a boil, these shells would be fused onto these eggs solid. They would they would attach themselves like a like a yippy yuck that won't let go, um, and you'd end up with eggs that look um, that are a pain in the butt to peel, and. Uh, well, this one doesn't look great, but in general, you know, you can get about, you're, you're, you're never going to guarantee a 100% success rate with um, peeling boiled eggs, no matter how you cook them. That's what I've discovered, but you can greatly increase your odds of success by using this method where you start them in boiling water. That makes more of a difference than the age of the egg, makes more of a difference than... Um, any other variable I tested, which was a whole lot of variables. Um, I've done this test with literally thousands of eggs, um, and not just like sort of casually anecdotally, I mean like literally done the test double blind, got people, got people to, got volunteers to peel eggs, looked at all the data, um, actually designed tests to do the, to figure this out. Hundreds of volunteers. All right, so there we go. And now, there's many ways you can um, mash up your eggs for egg salad. Um, some people like to, you know, you could push it through the large holes of a box grater. You could um, use a potato masher. I find that the best method is just go in there with your hands and just start squishing. I think it gives you the best texture. And please do make sure your hands are clean before you start doing that, of course. That's about, that's about as chunky as I like my egg salad. I think we're done. Let's give it a little taste. See if it needs any. Need a little more olive oil. A little more salt. Ah, egg salad, my old friend. Some people like to put pickle relish in their egg salad. I am not really one of those people. But I also wouldn't turn it down. If somebody, if I had a friend who said, hey, Kenji, I made you this egg salad. I put pickle relish in it. Um, I would not say to that friend, I do not want your egg salad. I would say, why, thank you. Yes, I would like to have some of your egg salad. I would enjoy it for lunch. All right, let's get our Bread. Where'd my knife go? Oh, right here. Okay. This is just brioche from Akrina Bakery. It's a little mini chain of bakeries in Seattle. Um, I don't think you need brioche for egg salad. It's just I decided to buy brioche because I wanted to make French toast for my daughter for breakfast tomorrow. And I do like brioche for sandwiches. Did you, did you think you'd be spending your you know, 10 minutes of your Tuesday watching someone make an egg salad sandwich? I'm assuming it's Tuesday for you. That's not, if I woke up on a Tuesday and someone asked me right out of bed, what are you gonna do today? I would not say to myself, I'm gonna watch somebody make an egg salad sandwich on the internet, but that is exactly what you've done. Just some greens. I like my egg salad sandwiches actually with butter lettuce, but I've just got these mixed greens today, so I'll go with that. If I had some sliced radishes, I would put those in here. If I had a good, real good tomato, I might do that too. Right now I don't have a real good tomato. Oh, hi, Hamon. Here, let me get you a little piece with no onion. Good catch. And there we go. Egg salad sandwich for lunch.
All right. Happy Tuesday if it is. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.